Tusonge mbele ambapo waziri wa afya Sisi Likarioke amesema kuwa serikali imeleta mageuzi kuhusu jinsi shirika la bima ya afya kwa taifa NHIF linaendesha shughuli zake. Amesema ukaguzi wa vitabu vya mahesabu ya shirika hilo sasa utafanywa na serikali ili kuondoa uwezekano wa kutokea kwa visa vya ufisadi. Number one, we have enhanced the role of the ministry in terms of uh, regulating NHIF in terms of what report NHIF does. Today NHIF only sends uh, a financial report. We have added operational report that goes to the ministry. Uh, we obviously the uh, government government audit systems will also uh, audit NHIF. Over and above that, then we have created a national stakeholder uh, committee, which brings all the interested stakeholders, um, health professionals, as doctors, nurses, and all the rest, the, the service providers, both public and private. We brought in um, uh, ordinary citizens. They will all be represented in this group. It, it has a membership of, uh, I believe, between 30 and 40. And they will be uh, reporting to the minister because then the minister is able to ask the right question to any child. And then number, number, within that framework, we've also created similar forums at the county level so that if in one county any child isn't doing as well, then the citizens of that uh, county, the health service providers of that county, the professionals in that county, the religious organizations in that county can ask the questions and give feedback which then comes up to the national level and also goes to the local governor and county government. Then finally, we have made a provision for a report to go to parliament about the operations of NHIF, which then parliament has a role to ask questions uh, about um, how NHIF is delivering on UHC. And part of the reason is coming to, this, to, to the question that Angela raised, is you're going to use tax funds to take care of Kenyans who are not formally employed and who are not uh, public servants. And therefore, and they are the majority. Formally employed together with public servants form only 25%. So currently, 75% of Kenyans don't actually have access. The people who have been contributing informally is a very small part. And they've been, uh, despite all the money NHIF has used to go look for them, to register them, they've hardly touched the service. And it's not uh, because they haven't done their job. It's because they're trying to do the impossible. It has not happened here. It has not happened anywhere else. When you try and get people to contribute voluntarily, what they do is they get, when someone gets sick, then comes and buys and, 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 and goes to hospital. So even in terms of financial sustainability, that informal uh, uh, scheme has been running at a, a claims ratio of about three times. So for every shilling collected, NHIF has been paying almost three shillings. Uh, the question as to the, what is the difference between the NHIF and UHC card that had been issued at pilot stage? Maybe I want to take a reverse gear and then I can come forward to the specific issues you are looking at. Today, NHIF covers a bulk of people in the formal sector, you and I, public employees, employees in the private sector. That is the primary mandate of NHIF, and it is mandatory for you and I, if you are in the formal sector, to pay up to NHIF, so that then, in return, the premium you, that you pay can earn you healthcare services. But over time, NHIF moved forward and solicited through some aggressive promotion contribution of premiums from the informal sector. Fast forward after devolution a few years ago, again NHIF moved forward and got into negotiations with the county governments, for example who also contributed premiums on behalf of some of the people living in this county, but also their employees. And we went on an aggressive drive up to now, where we have 74 different schemes, 74. Best practice, as is documented in this report by the expert, says that we need to have no more than between one 
and three schemes. Here we have 74, and you can begin to see now the issues of inefficiencies, particularly from an administrative point, because you have to service each one.